everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, in 1971, the Anarchist Cookbook was published. It was written by a guy by the name of William Powell, published by Lyle Stewart. It contains instructions on how to manufacture homemade bombs and other weapons and how to make LSD and other drugs at home. Later in life, Powell regretted writing the book and tried to have it removed from circulation, but he never owned the rights to it. it was, the rights were owned by Lyle Stewart. So he was not successful in getting it uh, removed from bookshelves. And you can still get it at Barnes & Noble stores and at Amazon.com. In 2012, Cody Wilson announced his plans to manufacture and distribute a plastic 3D gun called the Liberator. Now, Wilson is no stranger to controversy. After neo-Nazi groups got kicked off uh, crowdfunding sites like Patreon and GoFundMe and payment services like PayPal and Apple Pay, he started a crowd crowdfunding site called Hatreon specifically to raise money for neo-Nazi and hate groups. Now, he wasn't able to actually sell the gun that he created which is called the Liberator because you can't distribute guns without a, a gun manufacturer's license but what he did do was he put the, the plans for a 3D printed gun online uh, but these plans were later taken down after the State Department got a restraining order but that, by then the plans had been downloaded several thousand times, so the cat was basically out of the bag. Uh, with the change in the uh, administration, the State Department dropped its suit. But the case was taken up by 20 states, 20 states who are now suing to keep his plans off the web. But, as, but they've already been downloaded a bunch of times. Once something's up on the web, basically the cat is out of the bag. Now, there is a law called the Undetectable Firearms Law, but the plan, but, uh, but Cody's plans s circumvent that war law, and it's pretty easy. They simply include in the plan for the gun a uh, six inch strip of, of metal, which, which now enables it to be detected by a metal detector. But you can get around that simply by taking the piece of metal off. So, uh, so it's basically just a way of getting around the law. The gun also needs a steel nail for a firing pin. Now, I have to say I don't like the fact that criminals can bypass background checks and make their own weapons. It does remain illegal to make a gun for someone else. Uh, you need a gun manufacturer's license for that. And if someone in California wants to 3D print a gun, even if it's just for themselves, they are legally required to apply to the State Department of Justice for a permit and a serial number. Uh, those laws are fine, but they don't go far enough. I fly a lot. I really don't like the idea that people might be able to make guns that can be easily smuggled on a plane. I regard that as a personal threat to my safety, so I'm not very happy about it. So I think I have the right to make Cody Wilson unhappy. So he lives in Austin, Texas. I don't have his exact address, but he shouldn't be hard to find. Thanks for listening. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. And I want you to keep on doing that. Just not on YouTube. If you look down in the description box, you're going to see two new links there. One is to my Patreon page. The other one is to a site called Top Buzz. Now on Top Buzz, they're letting me monetize my video and, I, and they're not even ads on them. So, I'd like you to get in the habit of watching my videos there. Or you can go to my Patreon page 
And if you want to become a supporter, that would be great. If you don't, you can still watch my videos there. But for me, YouTube is no longer worth bothering with. It's just a launching pad that I use to put my videos at other places on the net. So I do want you to keep on watching my videos, but not on YouTube.